Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture. The lecture of today, which today is 20th of May of 2020, it is week 12 of our lecture. The lecture is CIV 573 and CIV 673 for master and PhD students. The name of course, Coastal and Harbor Engineering or for PhD and students onshore and offshore engineering and management. Therefore, uh, let's get started. In the first slide, you see only the cover page of the lecture. In the second slide, you will see the topics that we review today. You remember, we saw the wave uh, theories, we saw different types of wave theories, how we find which one is valid in water depth and for a height of, for example, wave conditions. And now we focus on linear or AV wave theories, theory. And then we see application of that by solving some examples by real calculation. And you, we have another example that you see that it doesn't match the condition with AV, and therefore we apply the Stokes order two wave theory. Because I wanted to have one full lecture today for linear wave theory, I am uh, again reviewing some part with you. You know that the most elementary wave theory is, as you remember, is the smallest small amplitude of linear wave theory. This theory developed by Avi in 1845, something about 75 years ago. It's easy to apply and gives a reasonable approximation of wave characteristics for a wide range of wave parameters. Therefore, I would say that for some cases that we have deep water and we have a small, rather a small wave height, that's excellent. For the other uh, zones, for the other conditions, that is not a non-breaking wave, 90% is okay, 95% even. Plus minus 5%, we can apply for some uh, cases. But if you want more accurate cases, you should find which theory is valid and apply there. A more complete theoretical description of wave may be obtained as the sum of many successive approximations where each additional term in the serial is a correction to predicting terms. What does it mean? When we say first order or linear or a small amplitude or AV, it has one term. For every characteristic or wave height, wave, Particle velocity, everything. And then we wanted to go to more accurate for other conditions, for example, ex, uh, strokes order two. We add another term, therefore, a strokes number two has two terms. So, number three, three, and then order four terms. Fifth order of strokes has fifth terms. And this important. And the others are correction to adding to that one. For some situations, waves are better described by these high order theories, which are usually referred to as finite amplitude. It's based on the work of May in 1991 and then. And 
Dalim Hotel in 1991. Also, there are limitations to its applicability. The linear way to can still do the assumptions made in developing the linear way theory are listed as below first one the fluid is homogeneous and incompressible Therefore, the density D is constant. This is the first assumption. The second assumption, the surface tension can be neglected. The third one, Krullius effect due to Earth's rotation can be neglected. I am sure that you have seen Krullius effect in dynamics. And it's very interesting. What is that? When you throw one particle, from top, it goes to the ground. It's not a straightforward line. It's rotate and comes. And that component of velocity and acceleration that make rotation is uh, Coronius effect that I hope you see in the dynamics. The other assumption, the pressure at the free surface at the, for example, the in sea, below, in sea level is uniform and constant. Next assumption is that the fluid is ideal or illicit. We don't have any viscosity. Next uh, assumption is the particular wave being considered does not interact with any other water motion. The flow is irrotational so that the water particles do not rotate. Only normal forces are important and shearing force are neglected. What is the irrotation? Again, you see in the advanced fluid mechanic or in hydroflow mechanics that when you say irrotational, it is the four. P equals zero. Del four, del is the operator of del. And power four, and phi is the uh, physical uh, function. Next assumption says that the bed is a horizontal. But it's not the case, but it's not very important because for long distance, you can say that is slightly sloped or not horizontal. What is the uh, case that we considered for shallow and transitional water? For deep water, because there is no effect of sea floor, either is horizontal or not on the uh, wave characteristic, doesn't matter. Because you remember, deep water was when we had d over l greater than 1 over 2. It means the water depth, which should be deeper or greater than half of wave length. In that condition, the ground sea floor doesn't change the characteristic of the wave. Therefore, the seabed is horizontal, fixed, impermeable, boundary, which implies the vertical velocity at the bed is zero, is okay, especially for deep water. That's 100% good. For the other parts, depends on the slope and the condition of sea uh, bed of the sea, sea floor. The wave amplitude is a small. This is the most important assumption that we have for airy theory, wave theory. The wave amplitude is a small and the wave uh, from or 
is invariant in time and space. At the wave form, and you know we don't talk here from the wave frontier, etc. The wave form is invariant, invariant, invariant in time and space. Doesn't depends on them. The last assumption is waves are a plane or long crested. It is a two-dimensional wave. We don't consider the effect of the boundary, horizontal, the other profiles. Or we don't consider if you have the coordinates, wave prop propagation in x direction, we have x and z. We don't have any y horizontal, the other horizontal one. In the next slide, we see that the first three assumptions that we saw are valid for virtually all coastal engineering problems. That's not a big deal, the whole is valid. It's necessary to relax the fourth one. And fifth one and sixth assumptions for some specialized problems not considered it in this lecture. Relaxing the three final assumption is essential in many problems and is considered later in this mm, course. The assumption of irrotationality is stated as the sixth assumption above allows the use of a mathematical function termed the velocity potential, uh, potential phi, as I mentioned. You. The velocity potential is a scalar function whose gradient, i.e. the rate of change of phi relative to the x and y direction in two dimensional case, where x is horizontal as is in the direction of propagation of the wave and z is vertical, at any point employed is the velocity vector. Thus, we can write the relation between phi and the direction by using the partial differential equation. We can say that u, which is, shows the horizontal velocity at x direction, equals, actually, you should write minus. The original one, it says that we have one minus here, but now we are talking about the quantities, not the exact value, and other minus here. Therefore, the velocity, horizontal velocity u, at x direction, the direction of propagation is minus round phi over round x. The French, John Pierre knows very well, the French method, they say round, that's okay. But the Americans said partial differential of phi in function of, in terms of x is too long. Therefore, we can say round x and phi over round x, that's all. And for z direction, we have the same relation. W, which is velocity in vertical direction for water particle, equals minus round phi over round z, or minus differential, uh, differential of partial differential of phi in terms of z. The first one was partial differential of phi in terms of a function of x. The other one is about z. And you know that phi is function of x and z and t here. But in general case, we have its 
function of x, y, z, and t. But because we assume that the wave propagation is only in one direction, x, and it depends on x and z only, we neglected here y. And time, why? Because when you are, imagine that you are standing at a point, the waves uh, apply, the water particle goes up and goes down, goes up and down, without any change in the location of the position that you are there. X and Z are, uh, X is up constant, but Z goes up and down with T. In next slide, we see the definition of celerity, and we see the relation between celerity and wavelength and wave period. I told you the water particle doesn't move toward the wave propagation direction. Water particles, they are rotating about their orbit. That in the deep water, the orbit are circle and they are cir has circular shape, but at non-deep waters, it means at transitional waters and shallow waters, they have ellipsoidal shape. But for AV theory, we consider that is circle. And we consider the wave profile is sinusoidal and sine profile. Therefore, for this case, celerity actually it is, uh, we can say that is the apparent velocity that is not the velocity of water particles. We can say that's the velocity of the wave propagation. You remember that in uh, constant velocity motion in cinematic x it was equals v times t so from here you can say that v equals x over t. Now, if you want to use this formula analogy, therefore c has the role of v. And x can be shown by L, the wavelength, and T can be replaced by wave period. Actually, this is for one uh, wave from crest to crest point. From here to here, you see the length between these two time distance or distance is L. And C shows the celerity, shows the wave propagation velocity in this direction and t actually is the time between the same uh, spacing from here to here therefore relating c equal x, which is L here, over T. 
Let me be applied this. I hope you understood what is celerity. Therefore, we can say that the speed at which a wave form propagates in terms the phase velocity or wave celerity, which is shown by C capital. Since the distance traveled by a wave during one wave period is equal to one wavelength, wave celerity can be related to the wave period and wavelength by the following equation, that is C celerity equals L over T. As I mentioned, we consider eighty wave theories profile which has a sine uh, or cosine profiles. For example, this is a cosine because when we put the location here, the location of the center of coordination x y or cartesian coordination this is when we have theta zero is one here profile is one for profile is cosine but you see that for velocity and acceleration one is cosine that is the side and you know that we have the direction u and Theta that is in this direction Theta can be Theta angle or K for example X that we, we see what is K you remember perhaps K is the wave number and you remember it was 2 pi X over L minus 2 pi T over T Therefore, we have one curve, the horizontal angle, uh, axis shows by the phase angle, which is theta. The vertical is Z, which shows this um, graph, the wave profiles, shows wave profile from here. And like this. And you remember that in AV theory, if the total amplitude is H, sometimes they say total as amplitude, but most probably half of that from the mean sea level to the crest, this is called amplitude, which is because it's symmetry in the AV wave function, we consider A equals H over two and the other as well. And the bottom one and top one, they are equal and symmetry. And very, very chic and very, very, for example, managed at zero, we have maximum, for example, profile height. At pi over two, 90 degrees zero. At 180 degrees or pi is negative minus A. And again, profile height zero. And again, plus A over two. These are the form of the profile of the wave when we use the AV or first order or linear wave theory. And you remember that at bottom C floor, Z is minus B, 
because zero z is here. This is C level is zero d, zero z, and because of d, this is minus d. Later, we see the table of formulas for ADE function. Here, we see the relation between the velocity and acceleration in different points. First, you see a velocity when the theta is zero. The horizontal axis is theta. And you see that velocity is maximum and is horizontal here and is positive and maximum. While velocity component in z direction is zero, there is no velocity here that is zero. Now let's see what happened to the acceleration. When we have u, u, which is velocity at x, maximum and positive, acceleration at that direction, x is zero. Why? Because for finding maximum, each value will get derivative of that and equal zero. And you know that acceleration is derivative of velocity. Therefore, everything that you have seen in physics one, in cinematic, they are valid here. The relation between acceleration and velocity. And go for another theta, another phase angle, which is pi over two at this point. You see that u here is zero. There is not u here. It's zero. U is vertical, horizontal, or you can say here is better. Here is zero. But you see that the vertical component, W, is maximum and positive. This is maximum, but U equals zero. And what about acceleration at this point? We are talking about this point here now. First, we talked about this point. About acceleration for theta pi over two, at this point, acceleration is horizontal and positive and maximum, you see. Acceleration at z, that this case was negative. Here you see, acceleration at z is negative and so on. Let's go with another color for, for example, here, at this point. Then we have a white like this. Here, a white was like this. Actually here, or white was like this. Every point, but actually this part is in the edge. We don't have that one. Just we have this part and we saw velocity is here. For theta equals pi over two pi, you see that the we have horizontal maximum, but in the negative side, Therefore, u is has maximum value with but in the negative direction of the propagation of the wave which was positive in this direction. And you know when one is maximum, the other is zero. And when this is maximum, the acceleration at that point is zero. 
Therefore, at this point, acceleration is zero. At this point, velocity vertical component was zero. This is this point actually. And now we have AZ marks vertical and in positive direction and so on. Therefore, you can see for the other cases, similar. Always, you can say that uh, A equals du derivative of u over dx. This is a, a x. For a y, a z, all have the same. Or in some part that you have more parameters in of b, you use round. If you have more than one variable in of b, you use your round. Round is partial derivative of u in function of x. So you saw the relation between profile, which we show that by eta, the distance from the mean sea level up to profile of the wave shown by eta, and by velocity, which it was in u and w, in horizontal and vertical direction and acceleration that I showed with AX, AZ, and etc. For different eta that we have zero, pi over two, pi, and so on. In this uh, slide, we see the relation between weight profile, horizontal velocity, vertical velocity of uh, water particle, AX acceleration in X direction for water particle, and AZ water particles vertical acceleration and you know that when it was it has one cosine form or sine form you know this is a little different you know in the previous one zero was here for profile but it uh, considered from one fourth length d4 doesn't matter when this is maximum u is maximum as well and this is zero, and this is zero, and this is maximum. Actually, when you see the relation between horizontal velocity in x direction, and also this is in x direction. Acceleration in the x direction, when this is maximum, the other one is zero. This is zero. Now let's see for z direction. For z direction, w is in z direction. And az is in z direction. Therefore, these are related to each other. When this is zero, the other one is maximum. When this is maximum, the other one acceleration, which is derivative of velocity is zero and so on. When this is minimum, this is zero. When this is zero, this is maximum. And again, this is maximum, this is zero, and so on. This is valid for Z 
And also we saw the same situation for X. This sketch shows schematically the relation between different parameters. So you can say schematically, I don't know which one you prefer. Uh, in this slide, we see some part of the table, which is shown some parameters for any function. Because the table was so long, it was vertical. If I didn't divide that, you will see nothing. I divide the any table to three tables. One of them is this one. First one, you see wave profile, wave celerity, wave length, and group velocity. First column is for shallow water. That in definition is L, B over L is one over 20, and some references such as U.S. Corps of Engineers write 1 over 25 in a set of 20. Doesn't change too much. This is 4%, this is 5%, and this is 4%. 4% is more correct, but 5% doesn't change a lot. They are similar. And here, again, is 25 but one over two are the same. If water depth over L is between one over two and one over 25, this is transitional wave water. You see that. And deep water, in any case, is very famous that D over L is greater than one over two. It is relative wave uh, mean, uh, water depth. When you normalize water depth over L and compare one over two, you can say that D is greater than L over two, they are the same. Or if you consider the wave number K and KD, KD here is here pi over two and here KD between these two values. And this can be in the other one, if 25, it is a little different. It's 12.55, 12.5. And the same here. Therefore, in summary, this is the different, what are the shallow, transitional, and deep water. For each condition, we have different formulas. When we use deep water, we use one zero here as suffix. In deep water, actually, the C converts to C0. L converts to L0 or LO and so on. And between these two cases, we have transitional water and the relations is concerned to them. Okay, for wave profiles, different conditions of water, they have the same profile. All of them, eta equals h over two cosine theta, as we saw from the care. And theta, the angle, is representing by Two pi x minus two pi t over l, and you remember that 
for us to pi over L is K. This is K, that we say wave number. Because of that, you know, KD has related with, for example, X. And so on. And some books derive to pi over t as n, but here we don't have such a thing. Profile, if you want, first we see which water condition we have. Select one column and find the formula. And for with safe celerity as well in shallow water, C equal L over T everywhere. But for shallow water is the value like this. But deep water it has another value, GT over two pi. Always L over two, L over two, L, L over T, L over T. But for transitional water, it has one relation that has tangent hyperbolic as well. Late, if you calculate L from here, we can say that L equals C times T. And applying C that you have, you can find L. Here the same, L equals C times T. Then we have C from here and times T. And there is T, then we have T a square here, we had only one t here. The second t comes here, a square. For the deep water, the same. When we have monochromic wave, just we have one profile. This is called the monochromical or monochromic wave. For monochromic wave, we use these values. But when we have group of waves, there are more the groups of waves, we should calculate the group velocity. And in that case, for shallow water, it doesn't change anything. They are the same. And CG equals C, they are the same. For heat water, you see the group celerity is half of the celerity of monochromical wave. This is monochromic. This is monochromic. Half of that, because of that, two we change to four. But in transitional condition, we have one N between CG, group velocity, or group celerity and C. It's better instead of velocity, write here celerity. Because we don't use velocity. Velocity is velocity of wave particle that is different from here. This is apparent velocity which we call celerity, shows the velocity of wave propagation, not velocity of water particles. In next slide, 
we see the second part of that table. I, you know, assembled here this one for matching here. It was one over one to four. This is number five and six. Here it shows water particle velocity that has one horizontal component and vertical component, U and W. For shallow water, we follow this formula. For deep water, this formula. And for transitional water, we apply this formula. And for vertical and horizontal, the same, uh, different formulas. We have the same wave particle acceleration, horizontal AX and AZ. Here we have these values for different water conditions. Something that we should pay attention again, since horizontal acceleration is the derivative of horizontal velocity, derivative of cosine is sine. Derivative of cosine is sine, no problem at all. Here again, derivative of cosine is sine but that depends on the x and location. And if we see the vertical velocity and vertical acceleration, this is velocity and this is acceleration, you see that when this is sine, Derivative of sine is minus cosine. Derivative of sine is minus cosine. And so on. Here is sine. This is minus cosine. And one thing more that you should consider is the parameters that we have. In shallow water, you'll see just cosine and sine, nothing else. Just you have sine, cosine, which depends on the x and t, nothing else. But, in transitional water, it depends on D, depends on L, everywhere, in addition to the sine and cosine, those values. And again, here L, you see, And for deep water, again, you see there, there are other parameters like L here. What's in other form? You know, E power something. So for now, you know the structure of the formulas, the relation between them. Next slide, we see the remained parts of the table of Ely. That is a relative depth. It's clear. This was, again, I assembled here. Number seven and number eight. Water particle displacement. Again, in horizontal and vertical directions. And surface, subsea surface, sub, subsurface pressure. P is given.
they will dissolve the displacement. You can see here this one. We don't use too much the displacement. We use acceleration and velocity, especially in the Morrison formula when we apply the hydrodynamic forces. Sorry, we didn't have break. We continue to finish earlier, if we can. Now, let's go and see two examples. The first example, you see that it matches very well with, for example, AV, weight theory. The second one doesn't match, and other one, but we use some other formulas from table of stocks that I have not given here, but you can find in my book or any books like Sarkaya or my book, especially in my book, I have listed all of them there. Don't forget for finding my book, just is easy to internet type my name, Kadi Sadeghi. And if you want professor, because you find that, Professor Kadi Sadeghi or yes. And also, and if you wanted to find easily, you add the keywords of, for example, coast, ports, and offshore structures engineering. This is the name of my book. you find there. I put PDF and put in the internet. You can find that. Let's see what's the example. For the following conditions, find it has four terms. A, the appropriate weight theory and water depth condition. First, we should check which theory should apply. AV, Stokes, I don't know, the stream function, or canonical, etc. And see what is water depth. Why? Because you saw that in the table of AV, we had three columns. One was for shallow water, the other for transitional water, and last one for deep water. Therefore, you should know what is uh, the water depth condition and which theory is appropriate for our case. And then at part B, the wave profile height, eta, we should calculate that. At part C, the rental velocity of water particle. At part D, the horizontal acceleration of water particle. What are the data given? The water depth is given 47 meters. And period of wave, wave period is 7.5 seconds, and edge wave height is 0 0.42. As I mentioned you, you know the depth is a little deep, not too much, but the wave height is low. This is the condition that from low motor curve you saw AV function match very well. Let me show you. This is the uh, low motor curve. Here, AV function match very well. Why we have water depth really or nearly deep is big, 47, but H is low. This shows the H height. This shows the D. B is enough big, but H is small. In this case, the AV theory matches very well, and this is the best solution for here. This matches 100%, very good. Therefore, uh, in general case, if we don't want to use other theories, second AV, etc., 
if you are near to this condition, that's very, very well adopted. If you are have near to that, much little approximation, more the approximation increase the rate of inflation. Therefore, you can use for this direction, not breaking, no, I don't like breaking. Not breaking for this non-breaking ways, you may use AV theory as well, but with some approximation. I told you something about accuracy is something about 95% in general. Okay, let's go to the example that we were working. I think we were here. This 47 meter and this T, these are coming from my first book that I published in 1987. The second one was in 2001. But the first one was at 1987. The name of the book is Design of Marine and Offshore Structures. In that book, first I calculated H by applying the British Schneider formula and P for daughter there. And then we applied all of them in calculation of the platform, which was installed at the water depth of 47 meters. Yeah, if you can find that one, it's uh, useful as well. For the first one, we should go to Lomote formula. First, we should calculate one dimensionless factor H over GT2 for horizontal Access here. And for, for vertical, sorry, for vertical access. For horizontal one, we calculate D over GT square for horizontal access. Then with these two values that we have for vertical, we move horizontally and for the other one we go up vertically and intersection of these two lines give us the location and we can select wave theory and water depth from there let's see Therefore, from figure that I will show later to you, we see that wave theory is okay, is the best, and water depth is deep water. Okay, let's see what is the value. Therefore, please keep in mind, vertical one, something about 8.5%. Horizontal one, something about 7.6 per 10,000. Or 7.6 times 10 minus four. Here, 8.5 times 10 minus two. We go here, I think it's a small. You come one of them here, one here, and then 
horizontally calm, vertically calm and you see that for example this is good I didn't fix this one very well you can search and you can have and can find that one because it's small and I cannot see very well you have found this figure by applying the dimensionless value H and B, we find AV vapor is the best and the condition was deep water. By having the condition of wave water, we go to the table of AV and find the formulas. Therefore, let me see if with deep water I go and find theta, the profile. Where is that? Here we didn't have theta. The first one we had. Here the second one is the first one. Therefore, we saw that the condition was water deep water and we wanted to find the wave profile horizontally you go vertically you go it is written same as the other one from here you move here and you apply this formula Eta for AV is half of the H times cosine theta for different theta. Then we apply this work. Yes, the term was on the question. We found this formula from the table of AV. We apply the values, the height, the here directly cosine theta. Instead of this one, we put theta here. We didn't go to the details for any location, or we apply directly this one. Therefore, eta is has a, an equation 0 0.21 times cosine theta. Now, here, if you put cosine theta 0, or let's go to the, not that one, 0 now, because you have symmetry. Let's go to the theta. For theta equals zero, cosine theta is one, and you had eta max. Therefore, time this one. There is equals zero. 21 meter. This is the crest. And for true, the minimum one, if you put theta equals pi, cosine theta is minus one, therefore you have one minus here, and you have minus 0 0.21 in our case, in other uh, world this is the crest the top from crest, maximum this is the max 
which is has a value of 21 and plus and for eta mean this is eta mean which has a negative value of minus point 21 and if you put the coordinate Cartesian coordinate here this was eta theta here was zero here was pi therefore we found one parametric value for eta which was 0 0.21 cosine theta by applying different values of theta we find different values of eta which for maximum at theta 0 and minimum at theta equals pi now let's go to the other part that we should calculate the horizontal wave particle velocity again we go to the table of Re, and we see that we should apply this one for B function and you know that when we wanted L we should go for D butter to the Re again table and find this formula for L or LO when we calculate wavelength at D butter we apply here and then find the others again we find one parametric formula for ux velocity of water particle at horizontal direction it has some value times cosine theta again you can change the value of theta for example directly when cosine theta equals one give you the value for and again z you know z has some value if this is z from here to here to see that this is the coordinate of the center of the Cartesian coordinate system Z has a maximum value here this is Z max that max at that point equals eta and eta at that point is h over 2 if you want maximum velocity you should go there and as z values you should apply for z here we we'll apply z max which is h over 2 if it was 0 it's not max but it's not too much different but in my calculation manual calculation of one platform I remember something about what can I say it was 33 years ago, 34 years ago, I calculated all the forces 
all the due to velocity, acceleration, and everything in Morrison formula. And I consider the effect of even this height here. Consider z here, not z0. z0 is about something, but not everything. Therefore, if you put cosine theta 1, you want u max. And u max is horizontal at this point. This is u max. Because z max is eta and eta we have calculated in the previous one it was zero one and theta equals zero. Here in the next part we should calculate horizontal acceleration for water particle. We can say that Ax equals partial derivative of u velocity at x direction in terms of t time. And you see this formula. Even you can go directly to the table that we called as A table and find here and apply here. Don't use cosine, sine, x, t, etc. No, come here. And when we apply the formula again, we see that there is a parametric function for ux. I think this is a mistake. This is AX, not UX. Please consider this one as AX. This acceleration. Type it here off. When you apply the edge, the other values, you find this one. Again, you wanted to find the maximum to find sine theta equals one and eta z max zero at pi over two because when you have eta sine max A is max at this point. And at this point, eta is zero. It's not h over two, zero. Don't forget, don't mix. You should see what is the eta. And what is theta? Theta equal one. When you say sine theta equals one, depends in this location, which is pi over two. And when we are talking about eta, the profile, we go to the same location. Don't use h over two. H over two was for u maximum was here. But here we have maximum acceleration is, which is vertical, is ax.
that at uh, delta equals pi over two. Pay attention to this one, please. And let's go to the next example. Therefore, if we finish this example, I think the lecture will finish. It's about one and a half, I think, hours that you are at lecture before even recording the course. In example, we repeat similar thing, but we see that this time, AV wave theory is not valid. We apply the Stokes order two, for example. Example, for the following conditions, while A, the appropriate wave theory and what have their conditions, C, the wave profile height, C, the horizontal velocity of water particle and at part D, the horizontal acceleration of water particle. We have the same condition, but something changed. Same water depth, but T is 8.71 second, and H is, you know, higher than the value that we had before. H is 492 meters. Therefore, it is a, another case that I checked for that platform. In this example, T is changed and H is changed with the similar water depth that we have. Again, we go to the Lomote graph by applying H over gt square and d over gt square. We find some values here and we go to this curve. d over gt square and then h over gt square we come to one point And this, this point is related to a Stokes second order. I didn't apply the real values here. You know, I just show you how you find. Come here and comes from here to there. And find this point, which is related to this. validity of the wave theory. So we say the second order of Stokes theory. Yes, by applying that one, we found that the Stokes second order best is best fitting with the condition and that is transitional water. Where we found transitional water, you know, if you are here, this is transitional water. It means that we were between these limits. mean we were somewhere here. We were here. Why we need that? When we wanted to apply the values that we have in the table of A V, we need water. The what are we discussing now? Therefore, we know that the water condition is transition. Let's go to the next slide that we saw the graph here. And here we wanted to calculate the wave profile height eta.
when we go there let's go to the table of traditional water I think it was, yeah, before here, in the table. Yes, here. We found that we are at transitional water. Therefore, we should apply eta this value. Okay, you see what's wrong? When we were in deep water, we came here in the first example and then we went to the same point now what's wrong if we come from here to the same yes but pay attention in this formula we have one l and l it is not for deep water easy like this one here as is your this is easy l in transitional water or here or is better than the other one here we wanted to find l but we see that the output is l but we should put some value for input as l as well how is possible it's easily possible we should do try and error First, estimate one L, put here, calculate L, and check. Is it equal to this one or not? If not, we continue. Okay, you say, I don't have idea where should I start. I told you before that you can start from L0. It's easy. First, you calculate GT squared 2 pi, and consider at L, and apply as First estimation here. When you applied uh, L0 here as from the deep water, you find L here. If they are equal, that's fine, finish. If not, again use this L here and find another one. If not the same, again repeat the case up to arrive to a point i remember in one exam exam one of the students i think it was maybe perhaps i saw what else he tried tried manually 16 times to arrive to the uh, same l 16 times try and error but sometimes you have one calculator that easily by try and error he find the result Depends on you. You can use the calculate the scientific, modern, advanced calculator, or you can calculate manually. In that case, I will give you enough time. Then you know that why transitional zone is different from deep water case. For every time we are in transitional, if we need L, we should apply. This one by try and error. Input, output. And repeating input, again finding output. So arriving in a convergence. Okay, let's get back to the example. Yes, for calculating L for transitional water, we have input and output. Therefore, we should uh, do iteration for trial and error method. 
if you input here, find output, and then repeating, put input, and find output from the calculation of these values, we arrive to a value that input and output, they are the same. 116.94 meters. This is the paid length for our condition. We apply to the formula of eta, which L is here, H here, and the other things. And K, you remember, 2 pi B over L. And like but we don't go through the details. We should go that. Why? This is not the airy. If it was airy, this was the term and finish that. But because it is second order, we have another term as well added in here. We didn't form these values from a table. I, I found that from a Stokes second order table. I told you, you can find that one from my book or even in one of my papers. Significant, I think, guidance that I get. Therefore, I apply the values and I told you k equals 2 pi over L. It is called the wave number. It is actually wave number. Wave number. Therefore, you apply the wave number here, and then wave number here. Don't forget, this is not sine. This is sine hyperbolic, cosine hyperbolic, cosine hyperbolic. But this is the normal cosine that depends on theta, the angle. Therefore, here we consider with k equals 2 pi over L after input all the given parameters H, L, K, and D, we find T equals 0. And for T0, we find eta equals 2.46 times cosine theta plus the second term, you see that the second term coefficient is lesser. And instead of theta, we have two theta. Because the second term is smaller. If you apply maximum value for theta, you will find, or for, for cosine theta, you will find theta max and eta mean, they are not too much different. But don't forget, eta mean it is minus, but they are not equal in in, for example, AD wave theory, this from crest up to two, they were equal in AD. But in Stokes, Stokes 
three and more, two, three, one more, they have bigger crest and a smaller two graph here. This is smaller from H2, but this one is bigger than H over two. Because of that, you see that minus is a smaller and plus is bigger. Here, I wanted to remind you what is the, when you say eta, the wave profile, wave profile is this one. And when we use the airy, we consider that the white is circular. The water particle moves around a circular. Actually, we don't have real material transportation, water particle doesn't move from here to here and goes there. No, just rotates around his orbit. You see that if I continue, it is the from here to here L over two. And D from here on is less than N over 2. This is heat water from here. Other one was not heat water, including transitional and shallow water. What it says, it says that a rematches very well for these portions that the depth is actually big and we have deep water and the water, the wave height is small. For example, at this uh, water depth, it is not good for a very big wave height. It's good for a small wave height, small one. At part C, we calculate the horizontal water particle velocity. Again, you see that for U, because it's second order of Stokes theory, we have two terms. One term, plus the other term. And you know that what we calculated, we apply as input to pi over L and etc. You may ask, okay, this second example is related to second order Stokes theory. Why we applied and found L length from the uh, AV tables? Because it's easy. And that's the, there are a lot of unknowns. We start from that is easy and matches, not, not, not very different. After applying the value, we have the horizontal velocity in x direction give us a value like this. These are given, you know everything. Then, by applying the values of theta ux, can be found at any point. Therefore, z this is the parametric response. Theta and z you can find for any locations. 
because acceleration depends on the depth that the water particle is there and also at the phase, phase angle, theta. In uh, this slide, we calculate the horizontal acceleration of water profile using the values that given in the Stokes table that you can find in my book, the second book, 2001 is published, Coastal Ports and Offshore Engineering Structures Engineering. So again, you apply K, the wave number. You know that S in this formula is Z plus D. They changed a little the form of that. Doesn't change a lot. And then this is theta. This is theta. You find another parametric again by applying the value of z theta in the parametric equation that we found. We can find at any point the horizontal acceleration of water particle. I hope you are not tired and you understood why I taught you. And Inshallah, get some ideas for designing of onshore, offshore structures. Therefore, please work on the paper. Therefore, the semester is finishing. Let's see what will happen and then search in the internet for finding some similar examples and then lectures. I will uh, upload all my lectures in the YouTube and even in using, use them and use them, you can find them and work on that. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Now let's see, do you have any question asked or not? What can I see? Nothing, it was the uh, beginning. John Pierre said, good evening, prop and all dear friends. Mahdi says, write the same logic. Thank you. And for no question. Now I am stop the recording and I want to see your questions. If you have any question, please write chat or uh, ask me i will answer that one i am stopping the record in google meet but in using it continues thank you very much again and take care be safe i stop recording and i see if anyone has any question to answer that thank you very much